Hi guys, so it's Operation Ice Storm Week. Starter set is upon us. And this is the video where we're gonna learn the basics of how to play. Um, Operation Ice Storm is not only the new starter set, but it's the first steps towards um, learning to play Infinity under the version three rules, so the whole new rule set. So um, if you're brand new to Infinity, sit back and enjoy it. If you're a seasoned Infinity player, you'll probably pick up one or two slight things from this little demo game where you're going, oh, that's changed. Otherwise, stay tuned to the end of the week where we do an advanced game between these two guys where you get to see some really cool stuff. Okay, right. So I'm playing Panosiana. He's playing the Nomads. Mm -hmm. This is Killian, by the way, oh, our yes. resident Infinity export, uh, expert. And this is Carlos of Corvus Belly. We have our battle mat laid out. We have our terrain, our six crates all laid out. This is all based on mission one in the rule book that comes in the starter set. So guys, how do we get started? Okay, uh, this is the first very, very basic battle in uh, the Infinity Operation Ice Storm, okay? Um, this is going to be very, very simple. We are going to play with very simple rules just because a beginner will begin with this, we will, this will be his first experience. So this is focused for order, ARO, movement, spending, when, to, when we are going to measure things. Very basic. We, does, we don't even have lieutenants in this battle. Okay. Uh, it's going to be an extermination battle. So you have to kill his three aguacils uh, before he kills your three fusiliers. It's, okay. it's just like that. No problem. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do is uh, make a willpower roll. This is a face-to-face -face roll using the willpower value because okay. the, you're using aguacils, your willpower value doesn't change from miniature to miniature, is uh, 12. Okay. And your willpower value is uh, 13. So you have just one side of the dice uh, for, uh, better for you. Um, you both succeed if you score the same value or less. But mm -hmm. uh, in, in this confronted role, the one who gets higher uh, is better. Okay, so I need to get under 12. Mm -hmm. You need to get under 13. And whoever but whoever gets, scores yeah. the highest in that... Um, without going over. Without going over their role mm -hmm. is the winner. Yep. Okay. And perfect. that is the basic for face to face roll. And that's the basics of a face to face roll. No okay. change here. So 18, 18 12. 12. Critical success. And mine is because it's an 18, it's a miss because it's over what I need. Yes. Mm. So that means I get to go first, which means I have to deploy first. Correct. correct? Yes. Okay. So um, according to the, the mission, my deployment is pretty much anywhere in this zone here. Yes, behind the containers, yes. So I am going to start to deploy my, my uh, troops in cover. Mm -hmm. So to be considered in cover in Infinity, you have to be touching, the base touching what it is you're trying in to get base contact from. with okay. the piece of terrain that, provide, that hides you partially to the enemy, mm -hmm. that is. As long as you're partially obscured by any wall, you are in cover, and that means you're harder to hit, and if you are hit, you get extra armor. So it's okay, always a good idea correct. to hug cover. Right. In that instance, I have finished my deployment. Now, Killian has the moment for his deployment in a normal infinity battle with more, much more differences between armies and much more options for making a, an army. Uh, uh, deploying as the second player gives you a slight advantage because you will recognize in what uh, troops does the other player have, where he, is he positioning them, and that uh, has a lot of meaning in the in Infinity Battle. Yeah. Okay. So I've seen that you've put down your three fusiliers here, mm -hmm. two at this box and one here. I want to now set up to get the maximum advantage against that because you've got the first turn. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put one of my Aguasile here, mm -hmm. I'm going to put my second one here, and then because I want to watch my flank coming round, put my last one here. Mm -hmm. Okay, everything is set up. Uh, now, uh, Warren, this is your first turn. Yeah. How many troops do you have on the table? Three troops. So troops that are active on the table, one, two, three. That means that you have three regular orders. Okay. And because they are green orders, you can uh, make them uh, being spent by any miniature that you want. So uh, I could spend one order per miniature or I could spend three orders on one miniature, or I could spend two miniatures on one minute, uh, two orders on one miniature and one order that yes. way. So no, no change here. So I get complete flexibility. Yes. 
Right. Okay. Now to work out what I'm going to do. Well, fortune favors the brave. So, um, these standard troops move four inches per movement, and they can do two moves in every, in, order, in every order. Yes. Okay. So, let's see. So the process is that you declare your first short mm -hmm. skill. Mm -hmm. If I if my wait can see. until he declares uh, all the uh, yeah. ARO's, and he only can only declare the ARO's with all those that miniatures no. that have line of fire. With, an uh, with ARO is an automatic reaction order, order, which mm -hmm. means, and this is one of the beauties of Infinity as a game, is as I'm playing my turn, my opponent could be reacting during my turn. So one way to describe Infinity is it's always your turn. You have to be constantly switched on. Right. Um, I know that, that the weapons that these guys have are combi rifles. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I know that the range on combi rifles is good, but not, not massive. So I'm not feeling too, under, too much under pressure here. So I'm going to be quite aggressive, I think, with this. So my first action, I'm going to move. And action, movement is measured mm -hmm. from the front of the bases to the front. So from edge to edge. From edge, edge to edge, edge, which is a change in infinity because it used to be measured from the center of the base, if I'm correct. Yep, it used to be center to center, but now it's edge to edge. The biggest change now in third mm. edition is that uh, when measuring the ranges for the weapons, is from edge to edge mm -hmm. of the opposing miniature. So it is it is slightly closer because we you will uh, for, for for weapons you will be using the closer edge mm -hmm. to the closer to edge, edge of the both miniatures involved. Yep, and that's that a... that means that. Uh, it's slightly different that will make uh, more weapons reach the optimal distance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's actually a big change from second edition, where uh, it was always the, center to it's, center. It's been done this way because the center of a base is not something so solid mm -hmm. as the edge. Yeah. For for having the perfect distance measure between uh, bases of 2.5 or 40 or 55 millimeters, uh, it's better doing it this way. Okay. Okay. All right, so that's my first um, action of the order that I'm spending. I'll, I'll put my order beside her just so as I know that she's the one that I'm working on. At okay, the first for a skill, now AROs, yep. which miniatures there have line of fire. So I can check which of my miniatures can see this troop move mm. across. In the, in the whole it, movement, yes. They can shoot at any point during its movement from where it starts to where it finishes. Mm -hmm. Correct. So this troop here, this Aguasile, can see you as you come around. Uh -huh. yep. And this Aguasile can also see you as you come around. Okay. okay. So both of these troops are going to take a reaction against you. Mm -hmm. If during all these declaration of uh, skills and orders uh, there was any doubt about the, the line of fire, the players are allowed to use the silhouette template. Mm -hmm. This template is for positioning and make sure that you can see the, the, the miniature and, and that you can see in, enough surface of mm -hmm. what is considered for, for actual having a legal line of fire. So if the position of the miniature, if, if the posture of the miniature, if the size, if, if a miniature is maybe a little prone uh, you can ignore it and use uh, the template. The template is basically, if you are not agreed at some point with a line of fire, use the template. Perfect. Sometimes Perfect. it's not necessary yeah. at all, but if there is any disagreement, use the template and it's done. Okay. No problem. So my two reactions, I can decide to either shoot you yep. or I can try and dodge any shots you might shoot back at me. Mm -hmm. In this case, I think because you're not in cover, I want to take a shot at you with each of my Aguasile. Okay, right. So now you have the second part of your action, to either shoot back, mm -hmm. dodge, or maybe if I'm going to miss, keep moving. You have two legal objectives right now because the, you have two AROs. You can spread your burst between the two objectives mm -hmm. and say one dies for this one and two dies for the other one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to shoot back. Okay. I think I'm going to be aggressive and I'm going to shoot back and we'll That's see the way what to happens. Play. Okay. So I'm going to put two on this guy here mm -hmm. to uh, my left and I'm going to put one on this guy here to my right. Okay. okay. Because I get the because I'm the active player, um, my miniature gets the full burst of, the of their weapon. The weapon. So then they, it has a burst of three, so it gets a full burst. But Killian, your two guys, you're because you're reacting, you only get one shot per yeah. weapon. Is that correct? No matter how many shots a weapon has, for example, something like a HMG might have four. Mm -hmm. When you're on the reactive turn, you only get one shot. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're reacting. You're reacting. 
So this uh, has been just the first order uh, right now, and we are still going to <laughs> solve it. But we are explaining the basics of the yeah. rules. Yeah. Once you know the basics, everything goes much faster. Okay. So now we measure the distance. Yeah. Now hands. that everything has been declared, you can measure. You can not measure before declaring the no actions. No pre-measuring. Okay. So to the first Aguasile, which is the one you're firing two shots at, uh -huh. the distance is 17, so uh -huh. it's over 16. Yes. Yeah. For the combi rifle, mm -hmm. that's a minus three to its mm -hmm. ballistic skill. Yep. And to the other Aguasile, it's the same. It's the same distance, roughly. Yeah. Just the same distance. So uh, you all have combi rifles, you will always be shooting with a minus three, three. but your figures have cover. So uh, you are suffering an additional minus three to your ballistic skill. Okay. So you will be rolling three dice uh, with a minus six. That means that you are uh, looking for uh, succeeding with six or less. Okay, so my ballistic skill normally is 12. 12. I get minus three because I'm over 16 inches, which is the, the optimum range of the, uh, of the, the combi rifle, rifle yeah. plus another minus three because Killian is in partial cover. Yes, correct. Okay, so uh, 12 minus six, six. So I need six or less mm -hmm. on these dice in order mm -hmm. for it to succeed. And these are D20s. So. Yeah. On mm -hmm. the other side, the Nomad Troops has a ballistic skill of 11, but they are suffering a minus three because of the range of their weapons. So mm -hmm. they will be rolling their only dice for each one of them to an eight or less. Okay. Yeah. So we'll do this one first. Two uh -huh. versus one. Yeah. I'm looking for eight or less on one. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for six or less on two. Okay. Okay, Nomad dies. 20, 20 is fail. Bad. One and three. Ouch, two hits. Uh, the two Pano dice, blue dice, are successful hits. Now he has to perform two armor rolls. Uh, the armor roll, this is the higher the better. Uh, when, mm. when rolling the dice, you have to overcome the damage of the weapon. And to your dice, you add uh, the natural armor of the troop. And because the, in this case uh, he has cover, you add a plus three to your armor because of cover. So if you roll... So what is the damage of the weapon normally? All combi rifles have a 13 as damage of the weapon. Okay, so uh, at its base value you'd have to roll over 13. So I need 14. Uh-huh. But you get uh, plus one for natural armor, yes. So it drops yeah. back down to 13. And then you also get uh, the three for, for being in soft, uh, for being in partial cover, yes. So yeah. it drops from 13 to 10. So, so you have to roll over 10. Yes. On two dice. On two dice. So I need 10 or more on yes. two. Mm -hmm. 18 and six. Oh. Uh, and the 18 makes the bullet rebound in the armor, but mm -hmm. the six is not enough. The, the bullet has penetrated the armor. He goes into unconscious state. Okay. Now so, solve the other face-to-face -face yep. roll. Okay. One dice against one dice. Same so again, six. I'm looking six or less. Eight. Five, Five successful. Nineteen. 19 fail. Now, in, in this same action, the, fusil, the female fusilier has received an impact. Mm -hmm. She has to perform an armor roll, and because she's not in cover, you have to roll uh, for uh, 13 or less. Uh, no, 13 sorry. or more. 13 or more. <laughs> 13 or less, excuse me, English. Okay, so. So I need 13 or more. Mm -hmm. 18. <sighs> the bullet rebounds in her armor. Okay. She looks gorgeous in the battlefield. <laughs> now, uh, d does she do anything else now that, that, that based on that? Or is that it? She's fine. Uh, because she has received an impact mm -hmm. and survived. She must uh, perform a guts roll, which is a normal roll of her, uh, her willpower. Uh -huh. If she uh, succeeds, she will stay where she is. But uh, if she fails, uh, she will look for cover. But in the, at this moment, uh, in this situation, you can choose to directly fail the guts roll, not making the roll, uh -huh. because it's beneficial for you, because she will reach for uh, losing the line of uh, fire with uh, the attacker, with the mm -hmm. reactive shot. So, so I could opt to fail the, yeah, the guts roll for yeah. to, to, to go into cover. And that them. will uh, allow you to move uh, two inches uh, mm -hmm. in the direction that provides you uh, total cover. So uh, she would go two inches like so to there. Yes. yes. And then that would be the end of her order. Yep. Yes, completely. Okay. So in that order, you moved. I had a reaction shot. Mm -hmm. One, you also shot back. Mm -hmm. I lost one of my guys, he's now mm -hmm. unconscious. And you almost lost your troop. And so. you almost lost your troop as well. Mm -hmm. So both of us took hits, but my guy is unfortunately now unconscious. So Now can I ask at this point, because mm -hmm. some rules you're trying to roll under, mm -hmm. and some rules you're trying to roll over, mm -hmm. is this just as something that we just gain the experience of as we play, or is there a ready reckoner, or is there a, a little rule in your head that so you know 
when you have to roll under and when you have to roll over? Is there uh, all rolls in the game are up to a number or under apart from the armor saves? So armor the save. armor save is the only the one then? Yes. Yeah, okay, right. So it's the exception that proves the rule. It's uh -huh. the only one that you go over because it's an armor save. The rest are you trying to get something and you go underneath. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Okay, so my next action. So you can now spend that second order on her again. Yep. Or on any of your other troops. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to spend it on this guy here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, the reason being is that whoever, the, the only miniature that could have saw him is unconscious. Mm -hmm. So no longer in the game. Yeah, uh, now pretty have much. a cleaner path. There, mm -hmm. I understand. So I'm going to have to start, yeah, I start to have a cleaner path for sure. So I'm going to spend my first action to go, go to there. Okay. okay, maybe this is a good moment because this yeah. line of fire over here mm -hmm. is not completely clarified if they see each other or not. I'm going to use the, the silhouette template. Just to... Nope, I can't have any line of fire there. So, so okay. just for using the... So I have no reaction to that. Yep. So now you can do your second short action. Yes. You can either move again or stay where you are. But be careful not to, to expose yourself. With uh, one. I was just about to say, there's a yes. tip here. Yeah. In Infinity, uh, if you are going to... Uh, you'd never want to finish your, your action with somebody having a line of sight of you or not an yeah. ARO of you and you have no actions left yeah. mm -hmm. otherwise they get to open fire on you and you can't do anything back yeah. so in this instance what i'm actually going to do is i'm just going to not spend the the other the, the other part of that order okay yeah. and just keep him there i'm just going to keep him there and i'm going to open a new order yes yep. to move him to the <laughs> so you've two options here both of these troops could potentially make it to this corner yeah. and take a shot at him. Mm -hmm. But you have to make a choice which one that's going to be. Um, I'm going to use this guy. Okay, he's going to come right up to the corner. Okay. Whenever you get there, uh -huh. this troop can see you. Yes. So yep. he's going to get a reaction shot and he's yep. going to shoot you as you're coming towards the cover. That's fine. That's so fine. he can shoot before he has the actual cover. If mm -hmm. I can see you in your movement before you reach the wall, mm -hmm. I get a shot and you won't be in cover. So it doesn't matter of what's in between. Cover, as Killian has explained it to mm -hmm. me, is like gears of war. Cover is God. Yep. You have to be touching cover in order You need to be touching for... the cover, dragging in front to get all the bonuses that cover gives you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we always understand that the soldiers are not the static. They are really uh, training soldiers who have to take advantage, know how to take advantage of having yeah. a, a cover. There. Well, for the sake of a tactical tip for people, mm -hmm. I didn't spend the, the second part of that order, okay? Mm -hmm. If I had moved him to here, yes, and yeah. then and then you will be spent my order to go to here, correct, correct. I would have been able to do that without actually yeah. uh, getting... giving the, the chance of shooting you without uh -huh. cover. That's exactly. absolutely right. There you go. Hugging, hugging the wall, as it were. Okay, so there's a hot tip, guys. So oh, okay, Killian. So um, I'm going to take a shot, and I'm going to shoot back. Obviously, okay. We measured the distance, mm -hmm. so and this time you are in the optimal range of yep. um, less than 16 inches, so yep. you will have plus three, mm -hmm. and because he get, uh, has you without cover at some point, he will roll in for 14, 14 mm -hmm. or you less. have plus three minus three because of his cover, you will roll in three dice for 12. Read three dice for 12, so one so. dice for 14 or less, and three, three dice, dice for 12, 12 or less. Oh, this is where 14, 14. critical, critical hit. hit. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, 12, 12, 12 but and a 3 and a 17. <laughs> but his, his critical hit is higher. Yeah. Oh! Yes. <laughs> so if these, okay. had, if these hadn't been critical hits, my 12 would have beaten your 3 since it's higher. Your 14. Oh, sorry, my 14 would have beaten your 3. Uh -huh. um, but your, uh, my 14 would have beaten your 3 and your 12 since uh -huh. it's higher. Yeah. Because it's exactly what I need and it's a critical, mm -hmm. it's an automatic success. Mm -hmm. You also rolled a critical in 12, which is also an automatic success. But because yours was higher, higher. it takes priority over mine, so therefore yes. mine doesn't count. Yes. Now, when you're hit by a critical, it's a critical hit, and you take a wound automatically without getting to make an armor With no save. no armor save. He only rolled one dice, um, but he nailed the, 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 the best possible number for the situation. Yeah. So I got a lucky shot off, basically, mm -hmm. that one dice. Okay, so I get an unconscious marker, yep. Yes. and I now have this guy 
effectively out of the game. Now, it's worth saying oh, mm. there are two states. Yep. Um, there, uh, whenever you take a, a wound, these guys all have one wound, basically. So you take a wound, you go into the unconscious state. They took another wound, they're then dead, and they're removed from the battlefield. The unconscious state they can recover from yep. if you have a doctor on the, uh, a doctor uh, in your in your your faction or your force that yep. you can move to them. We're no, we don't have any doctors in this particular mission, but there are doctors in, in the game. In Operation Einstorm, there's the Reverend Healer who has the doctor skill, for example. Yeah. Yes. So, um, for the purposes of this mission, unconscious basically means dead. Basically yes. means dead. This is true. Okay, so Killian, that was the end of my three orders. It's now over to you. So because you've used your orders, it comes to me. I only have two guys who are still active, mm -hmm. so I have two orders. So I lose this one because he's unconscious. Uh -huh. It's now my active turn, yep. so you'll be reacting to anything I do with my troops. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll spend an order on this troop here, mm -hmm. and he's going to move his first. Oh, hand me the measuring list. Yeah, there you go. Four inches. To here. Mm -hmm. So now, if you can see yes. any of your trips, yep. Yes, I can. Yeah. So if there's, any, again, if there's any doubt, you can use the silhouette uh -huh. to here. No problem. Okay. And now you get to do the reaction. You can yeah. decide to shoot me. I'm going to shoot you. Yep. I thought you might. <laughs> I thought you might. Okay. And you shoot back, and now the, everything is declared. You can measure. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's obviously more than 16 inches here. Yep. So you are both uh, rolling the dice with a minus three for range, and you have a minus six for, for range and cover. Mm -hmm. You're facing the same situation as he did. So I'm a nine or less. And yes. I'm a five or less. And you're a five or less. And three dice for me, active turn, and one dice and for one you. And one dice for me. 20, 13. 12, 12, 13, all you all so fail. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. So that was one order spent, mm -hmm. one order left. I don't want to keep her out in the open, so I'll spend the next one on her. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to that corner over there. I don't know. I'm that. going to run to... Mm, tricky. I'll go to this one here. Ah. <laughs> now, does he get to do an ARO again during, yes, during yes. that? Yes, Every time an order is spent, uh, every miniature that has line of fire with the activated miniature... But can... both those actions were off the one order, does No, it... uh, he spent the two orders. This new movement is from Always a new from order. Always from a new order, because yeah. the, uh, the second part of that first order was, to was shoot. spent reacting, or was spent to shoot Yes. Which was a reaction to my yes. reaction. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. So I get to to do the whole thing again. And this time, I think I'm slightly closer, so I'm going to take the shot again and hope this time I manage to take mm -hmm. you out. Let but this time yes. again, you weren't in cover because yep. I was able to see you at that point where you just had no cover at all. Correct. I'm going just to measure the distance now that you have mm -hmm. both declared shooting. Yep. Yeah. And uh, yes, you are in the plus three um, distance. Mm -hmm. So you have. Plus three, you are rolling for a 15, yep. and you are rolling for a for a 11, because yeah. you have plus three, minus three. Okay. So three for 11, three, eight, 13. <sighs> uh, his ARO overcomes uh, his successful shots here. Mm -hmm. So uh, you are receiving an impact, and because you are receiving it, it when you are out of uh, cover, you are uh, rolling for 13 or more. So I need 13 or more to not be unconscious now. Mm -hmm. 15, 15 mm -hmm. the bullet rebounds on the armor and she survives. Now, if you want to keep that position, mm -hmm. which can be tactically, tactically yep. important, mm -hmm. you have to uh, succeed at a guts roll, willpower roll, 13 or less. Yep. If you want to lose line of fire uh, and uh, if you, they want to kill you, they have to go that way. It's also a very tactical, valuable decision. You will automatically fail the, the, the guts roll and you will be moving uh, two inches uh, inside of that zone. So you can choose to take the, the guts roll mm -hmm. to be able to stay planted where you are, yeah. you, know, yep. you weren't afraid of it, you're not shocked by it, or, uh, and there's a chance you might fail it, or there's you can just fail. choose to fail it and then move. Why would you not just make the roll and then decide whether you're going to, to if, do it or not? If you're making the roll, uh, you are directly deciding to, that you oh, want to stay. Oh, if you succeed, then you, you have to yeah. stay. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. In this case, I want to make sure that she covers this corner to stop you advancing up. He mm -hmm. wants to stay there. So I want to stay here. So I'm yeah. going to try and pass my guts roll, 13 or less. Fails. Fails. So he has to move uh, two inches. And in this to case, and does he have to move up to two inches or the full two inches? The full two inches. Okay. He's forced because it's a movement caused by panic. Mm -hmm. That's my two orders spent, so it goes back to you. Right. 
Okay, I have two active miniatures because one of them is unconscious. That means I'm down to two orders that I can spend. Mm -hmm. um, I want to ensure So I want know. to ensure that I, I that I start to put some, you know, some some force in around this area. So I have an idea. Ooh. I want to start going up a building. And we, nice. we have buildings and may as yep. well use them. Yes. So I'm going to spend my order on this fusilier here. Mm -hmm. uh, so Carlos, how do I uh, move and uh, go through buildings? Well, so. since these buildings have stairs here in the texture, mm -hmm. you can uh, walk by the, those stairs as a normal movement. So okay. No problem. So with I just that. Uh, I will move my. Shall I say something about the tradition that no one knows yet? Oh, yeah, yes, go please. for it. Uh, climbing with mm -hmm. when when there's no stairs on the staff. Okay, climbing with a miniature uh, instead uh, of making a roll and succeeding uh, will be. Uh, nor a um, long action, okay. Long, you, you, long order. Long order. You, long order. You consume the whole order and you are up. Oh. You you move the first uh, movement value of your true profile and you climb that up, but oh. with the whole order, with no uh, chance of shooting when you are on top of it. Wow, that's that's brand new. That's uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's two and a half so inches to the we foot. We skip the mm. failure of roll and people yeah. dying in the battlefield with that. Okay. It's uh, two and a half inches to there. Well, that's three inches to there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then. So hang on a second, because uh -huh. you're climbing up and over that wall. Yes. And my Aguasile here can and definitely see you as you come over the top. Okay, yep. Yeah. So I see you come over the top, and I decide I'm going to try and take a shot at you mm -hmm. as you come okay. over. Okay. Uh, have you moved more than uh, four inches? Um, no. No, I haven't. Okay. So, so you still have your second part of the order yes, to I shoot do. back. Yes. So you are shooting and yeah. you're shooting back. You have no cover, he has cover. You are both in the plus three range. Yeah. So you will be uh, rolling your, your dice for 14, fourteen and you will be rolling your dice for twelve. Okay. But you get three dice to my one. Let me just double check that because there is a chance I have moved over that, in which case I wouldn't get to it to react at all. So I was here and I moved mm. two and a half inches. Well, I moved, yes. yeah, two and a half inches to there, but then I have to include this distance as well, don't I? So yes. I probably have moved five inches, which means I don't actually get to to react at yes, all. Then that is uh, fair. okay. So a uh, free shot for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's that prime example of not yes. leaving yourself uh, in front of somebody without an action to be able to do something with it. So Noah, all I'm trying to get is unopposed a fourteen or less. Mm -hmm. Four. Four yeah. is good. Mm -hmm. Four is good. You have to make an armor roll right okay. now. Okay. So my armor roll is 13 or more. Yep. Yes. 11. 11. Uh, you go to unconscious state. Oh! Oh dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right. Okay. I have one last order. Um, and I have only one guy that I can spend it on. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to move him. The uh, first part of his action to there. Yes, no possible no action because, see. because see. you lose that line uh -huh. of fire. Uh -huh. And then the second action, right with to cover there, over with there. Cover. Yes. Okay. Okay. Your turn has ended. My turn is ended. So your you turn now. You still have two orders. Okay. So everything is coming now. Yes. Okay. So we'll see if we can end it on this turn. <laughs> so I'm going to spend the order on her. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do this time is take a leaf out of your book and climb up the ladder and come around this way on the building. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to move my first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it takes me to the base with one yep. and three up to the top. Uh huh. So that's my first. So do you have any reaction to me climbing over the top? And I'll put the silhouette here so you can see. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. But you still have the second part still of the have order. The part. Yeah. So you have cover. You mm -hmm. don't have cover. Uh, so um, if you shoot back, well, you are going yeah. to roll to shoot, of yeah. course. You are in the plus three range. You so are rolling for 15. You are rolling for 11. Yes. Yep. So I get. I need to get 15 or less on one yes. dice. 20. 20. You failed. Of course I did. So <laughs> I'm looking for an 11 or 11. less. Yep. Hit two, two hits. hits. Two hits. You have so two I need to make two armor saves. Thirteen more, more or than more. ten. More than ten. More than ten. Because you have, have cover. All right. 
Two uh, and a three. Two and a three. <laughs> they really did. And that, as they say... No, the, the, he's dead. He's, he's, not, he's, even he's not even unconscious. He's dead. Out of the table. And that, as they say, is that. Yeah. So that that seems to me to be all the basic rules uh, down, Carlos. Is there any rules that we didn't cover in that that, that, that people need for the very basics of this we game? We haven't seen any dodge. Yeah, uh, dodge is mm -hmm. as well. ARO, which is more interesting because it allows you to move five centimeters. Mm -hmm. Well, look, let's set up a very quick um, sure. example so that I can see that being played out. Okay, okay so. uh, let's say that when you reach that position, yeah. Again, instead of shooting back, which mm -hmm. is the most obvious option, you are going to dodge. Yes. Because you decide to dodge. Mm -hmm. uh, so you will be rolling a dice yeah. for uh, your pH value, physical value, which mm -hmm. is 10. Okay. Yeah. And you will be shooting uh, 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 with 11. Mm -hmm. So 1, yeah. uh, 14, 18, 9. Okay. Uh, he's uh, succeeding with his 9. Hitting uh -huh. you because your uh, one uh, is less than the nine. Yeah. Let's say, let's I, say, just that was a miss instead. So yeah, say there wasn't an eleven or something. Yeah, let's say that he scored the one with the beautiful normal logo over there, and you uh, roll a seven, for example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that will mean that you successfully dodged the, all the shots. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did um, a one not mean I'd successfully dodged all the shots? Excuse me. I had rolled. Uh, is that a twenty or a one? No, it's a one. It's a one. So did that not mean I had already successfully dodged all the shots? No, because shot? uh, his nine was more than a one. So my nine was closer to my what I needed to shoot. He was uh, rolling for eleven, and you were rolling so for. So it's a face-to-face -face roll. Yes, 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 okay, yes, yes, yes. right. Um, so if in this case, if you have rolled a seven, for example, and he rolled a one, and and. Uh, uh, misses misses shots of eighteen. Mm -hmm. You will be dodging the um, the shot. Okay, yeah. and dodging as an arrow uh, allows you to move five centimeters in the direction that For you two want. Two inches. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. Sorry. Two, two inches, inches. Sorry. Uh, and that allows you to move five centimeters. In third edition, the little change here is that every time you successfully perform a dodge uh, as an arrow, you can always move five centimeters. Every troop. Moved five centimeters in third edition instead of the half of your first value of movement. Ah, so it's five. been simplified then. So. It's been uh, more uh -huh, solid. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there is this new skill called kinematica. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I don't know the English name. Probably kinematic, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that uh, is when you perform a dodge as an arrow successfully, you move kinematica level one. Uh, Three inches, kinematic level two, uh, four inches. I don't know the exact number, yeah. sorry. Okay. Uh -huh. But more distance. More distance, okay. Now, uh, a veteran player will realize if, if, in, if in third edition uh, getting into close combat as an ARO is like in second edition, the more distance for dodging means that the radius of action for uh, getting into close combat as an ARO is bigger. So troops ah. very specialized into close combat with kinematic and a wider range of uh, movement in ARO means mm -hmm. that they can reach more they objectives. They can dodge their way into a combat. That's, because yes. that is the way they're moving on, on mm -hmm. as, uh, in, uh, in reactive terms. Now just back to this for one second, because the other interesting thing was if, uh, if I had passed my dodge roll, mm -hmm. it wouldn't have mattered how many hits he had scored. Yep. As long as my dodge roll was higher than those than those hits. Mm -hmm. So if, for example, you rolled an eight and yeah. I rolled a one, a two, and a three, yeah. even though my one, two, and three are all successes, they're all mm -hmm. less than eleven, your eight would have beaten all of my dice since it's mm -hmm. higher. Yeah. So you would have dodged all of my shots. So this is the point where it, it actually, you, you know, you see the decision process there because if I had to roll, say, uh, twelve or less to take a shot. But to do a dodge was a ten or less. You probably would think, "Yeah, I'll take the shot," but I could take the shot, and Killian could still kill me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, whereas if I go for the option of the ten or less, if I'd scored a nine, for mm -hmm. example, there's a fairly good chance that I would actually get away scot free, regardless of how many hits that exactly. he had rolled. And there'll be situations, for example, the initial shots here, where we both need either a five or a six, yeah. and in that case. A dodge is a better option since it's a higher number. Mm -hmm. A 10 is a lot better, easier to get to than, for example, a 6. Yeah. The thing is, uh, there are certain situations in Infinity where more than one troop will be attacking you. Okay. Yeah. And in that case, is the, the dodge 
is a face to face to all of all them. Ah, oh. that's that's the meaning of, of dodging. Some, yeah. Sometimes the the shooting values are super low, mm -hmm. and dodging is the option. So in other in other situations, with more complicated maneuvers, coordinated order, suppression fire, mines. Mm -hmm. Okay, my, sometimes you may end up with three different people at the same time attacking you. Yeah. In that moment, dodging is better than shooting. Okay. Grand. Well, look, gentlemen, thank you so much for giving me um, this quick how to play the basics for uh, the Infinity Operation Ice Storm starter set. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I've been beaten. Some people will enjoy that, but that's what Killian's here for now, so they, they expect more of that. <laughs> um, stay tuned later in the week because we're going to unleash Killian and Carlos to play the advanced mission where some of you guys that are maybe veteran players of Infinity will really start to get your teeth into some of the changes and things that's been happening. So, stay tuned, enjoy the rest of the week, because I think you're definitely going to enjoy Operation Ice Storm.